touchdown passes already than he had all of last year. He's going to throw here on first and 10 to the sideline, and it is caught by Josh Hammond at the 49-yard line, so that's a 14-yard pickup. They come out with tempo. Out in space to Hammond, has blockers inside the 40 and to the 38-yard line in 2009. Protecting the ball, even though he's got those picks in the last couple of games, as Scarlett catches it out of the backfield. It's another Florida first down to the 25, 13 yards. I just don't know how to handle it quite like that. Ninth play of the drive, and the pass tipped in the air, and it is intercepted. Williams picks it up. I thought he was down, but they haven't ruled him down yet. He's taken it back the other way for a touchdown. So the ruling on the field is going to be a touchdown, but boy, it looked like he was down. That was wild. All right, tipped up in the air. He, of course, secures the catch right there, and look at that left knee. He's down. Third pick in the last three games by Franks. Vaughn, and he's loose. He's got running room past the 15-yard line, and the Illinois transfer stays in bounds. All the way up to the 45. This kid can fly. Cone in Nashville. Former Gatorade Player of the Year in Tennessee. Shermer going downtown. Caught at the 40 for a first down by the leading receiver in the SEC, Kalijah Lipscomb. And it's a jet sweep to Lipscomb with blockers inside the 10-yard line. And finally knocked out a play at the 7 by Brad Stewart. It's first and goal for Vandy. Play fake. Shermer looking. Got a wide open man. It's a touchdown for Jared Pinckney. Franks will throw again on second and long. That one is caught on a comeback route at the 32-yard line by Van Jefferson, a Nashville native. So fresh set of downs just shy of midfield for the Florida offense, trailing Vanderbilt late first quarter, 7-0. Franks from the pocket, slings it complete. A first down to the 38-yard line to Kyle Pitts. Freshman, he's missed only once this year, and this is a 22-yard attempt. And he gets Florida on the board go, early go, in the second quarter. The state champion in high school. On first down, Shermer setting up the screen to the Mamba. He's past the 30-yard line, and there he goes, crossing midfield. He stumbles. They track him down at the five. They push him out of bounds at the one-yard line. No, it's a touchdown. It is a touchdown, 75 yards for Keyshawn Vaughn, the Red Mamba. So it's a six-yard loss, third down and seven. And they will run the ball straight ahead, diving for the first down. A lot of room between the tackles for Jordan Scarlett again. He used to be the defensive coordinator of the Oakland Raiders, and he ended up getting that opportunity. Franks fumbles the ball. It's kicked around. Odengbo can't get it. Johnson can, and now it's kicked to the sideline. Finally scooped up by Vanderbilt. Dio Odangbo comes up with it. Crazy play. The ball bouncing everywhere. It's Vanderbilt football inside the 30-yard line. Second and goal. Wakefield straight off. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Vanderbilt. Way to go in Columbus. <laughs> it's a long game. Franks to throw, and it's caught for a first down by Tyree Cleveland to the 39 yard line. Third and five. Leaving the backfield is P. Ryan. He has the catch and has the first down. P. Ryan inside the 10. It'll be first and goal. Plenty of time for Florida. And man coverage on the swing route. They go tempo. P. Ryan again. Hit at the one. Reaches the ball out. The ball comes out. It's still up in the air. And they finally rule the Florida running back down. 
to see where Pirine's body is. Clearly nice. that ball reaches out, and he's still above yeah. the ground. I think it's a touchdown, Mac. It might be a touchdown. After review, video evidence shows that the runner did break the goal plane of the goal line. It is a touchdown. Please reset the game clock to 2 minutes 30 seconds, 2 3 0. With a good return earlier and has an 85 yard punt return for a touchdown earlier in the season, is deep. And this is a line drive right to him. Swain from the 25 yard line. He's already at the 35, but a flag down. Swain out of bounds near midfield. A second penalty marker is down, and there's an injured Vanderbilt player. There might be. Fellas, Vanderbilt head coach Derek Mason not too happy with Florida. There are two fouls on the play during the return, illegal block in the back on the return team number 27. Personal foul targeting on the return team. That play is under further review. Wow, so targeting. And now there's some pushing and shoving on the field. Both teams have come onto the field. Not sure who initiated that. Because. Pressure off the edge. P. Ryan out in space. He's got running room at the 40-yard line. P. Ryan into Vanderbilt territory. Cuts it back at the 30-yard line. Being chased at the 15. They finally get him and take him down with five seconds left. And Vanderbilt, or Florida rather, will call a timeout with five seconds to go. And here too, Van Jefferson, their best receiver. And that's where he's going with the ball. Throws it way behind Jefferson. That was a back shoulder throw, but Jefferson was running into the end zone. Going into the locker room thinking maybe you weren't going to get it because you're at your 15-yard line with a minute to go. And McPherson nails it. 21-13 is the score at halftime in Nashville. As the number 14 team in the country, one of the hot topics in college football this week because of their wins at Mississippi State and against LSU, a pair of ranked teams. We'll see here. Keep an eye on if there's anything extracurricular as both teams head to the same end zone going to their respective locker rooms. Shermer on second down. Rifles it over the middle. And able to hang on to it is Chris Pierce for the first down at the 15-yard line. Cooperville, Illinois. And he missed it. He'll <laughs> let us know when he checks at it. Fourth down. Tommy Townsend on the punt. And it's a fake. Townsend picks up the first down. What a call by Dan Mullen. Townsend gets the first down of the 45. They haven't blown it dead just yet. Now they finally do. An 18-yard run by the punter. And now pushing and shoving the punter getting into it with a Vanderbilt player. Third and three. Franks throws to Jefferson, is free at the 20-yard line, and going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Gators. Last possession, Jefferson did. 40 seconds to go in the quarter. Franks in the pocket with time. Down the seam, it's caught by Stevens, a first down. A lot of big games with playoff ramifications, including this one for the Florida Gators. On third and three, a huge gap. Scarlett is gone, and the Gators have the lead. Touchdown, Florida. Playing better. They complement each other on both sides of the ball. Fun group. Good play there. Pierce fumbles the ball, and it's recovered by Vanderbilt. Another turnover by the Gators. Zaire Jones comes out of there with the football. The 25-yarder wide left just a little while ago. But he's perfect on this one. That's a big three points off the Florida turnover with 12-10 to go. The Commodores are back within three. 
Felipe Franks has had some turnover issues in this game. They're going to let him throw here on first down. And his pass is caught to the 40-yard line is Cleveland. First down, Gators, a pickup of 15 yards. Here comes a reverse to Tony, and he's got a ton of green inside the 30. Inside the 25 and down to the 22-yard line. 28-yard run by four receivers at the bottom of your screen, and they're going to throw it over here. And Swain stumbled, but gets inside the five, dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Gators. Got to hurry up. The play clock is down to four. Now they're set. Here comes pressure. And the pass is caught for a first down. Bowler on the catch. Boy, Shermer did such a good job. He hung in there with C.J. Henderson coming on a blitz. Unbelievable pass rusher in coverage. Ford on territory. Pressure coming up the middle. Shermer has his man, Pickney, on the catch. And that's one of the reasons why the play clock is already down to two. 53-yard attempt. Does it have enough? It does! Riley Gay, who missed a 25-yarder in the third quarter, makes a 53-yarder in the fourth. I don't know if that's what they're going to go with here, though. They're going to run P. Ryan, and he got it! First down and more. Out to the 40-yard line. Two. P. Ryan. A ton of running room. First down into Vanderbilt territory. Inside the 35-yard line. The will of the Gators. Just too much for Vanderbilt to handle. A true freshman kicker. 43-yard attempt by McPherson. It hooks in. It's good. And Florida leads by 10 with 37 seconds to go. 15 seconds to go. Shermer. Looking downfield, long throw. It is intercepted by Gardner Johnson. One more snap for the Florida offense, and the Gators are going to get out of here victorious. Falling on the sideline here for Florida, instructing his team to keep their mouths shut, end the game, and get in the locker room. We'll keep an eye on the handshake here between Dan Mullen and Derek Mason. After Florida closes this one out, 37-27, the Gators beat the Commodores. And it appears no hard feelings after that exchange at the end of the first half. You know, that's great to see in the heat of the moment things happen, and it looks like all is forgiven.